Hey guys, Brother Justin here from Charity Baptist Church. So in the last two videos, I talked about the first two points of the Modified Romans Road. Number one, that you have to admit that you are a sinner. Number two, that you have to admit that you deserve to go to hell. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the third point of the Modified Romans Road, and that is Jesus Christ died for your sins. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Now, in order to have a transition from the second point to the third point, I always ask that person, but do you think that God loves us? And that person will say, of course. And I will ask him, but do you think God is kidding when he said all sinners deserve to go to hell? And that person will say, no, he's not kidding because the Bible says, no, we all deserve to go to uh, the lake of fire for the wages of sin is death. But I would explain to that person, Yes, God is not kidding because God is a just God. He has to punish the evildoers, right? That's why we deserve to go to hell. But God is also a loving God. God wants to save us. And then I will show them Romans chapter 5, verse number 8. But God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And then I would explain to them that Jesus Christ paid for our sin and then i would ask that person do you know who jesus is and this is a very important question because most people think jesus christ is just a man and some people think he's just a good teacher but jesus christ is not just a man but he is the son of god he's god in the flesh so depend on what answer that person give you you you, you can show them different uh, verses in the bible okay now most of the people will say jesus christ is the son of god and then I would always ask them, do you believe that Jesus Christ is God? To your surprise, most people don't believe Jesus Christ is God. Most people think he's just the son of God. So you have to explain that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. He's God, right? Now I would ask them, have you heard about Trinity? And most people have heard about the doctrine of Trinity. Now I would explain to them that the Trinity is basically uh, three and one. You know, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit and these three are uh, one and most of the case you know that person will start believing that Jesus Christ is God because they have heard about the doctrine of Trinity okay now if someone still um, doesn't believe that Jesus Christ is God you can show them first Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness God was manifest in the flesh so you can explain to them that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was uh, made in the flesh, which is Jesus Christ, okay? So after you explain to them who is Jesus, Jesus Christ is God, um, you can explain to them that Jesus Christ was born of, of a Virgin Mary, that he lived a perfect life, that he has never sinned. Now most of the people have no problem uh, believing that Jesus Christ is sinless. Now if someone does not believe that Jesus Christ is perfect and he's sinless, you can show them uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So you can show them this verse to explain that Jesus Christ is sinless. You can also explain to them um, in this way that if Jesus Christ is not perfect, then he has to die for his own sin. Only a perfect God can pay for imperfect human beings, okay? And then you can explain to them that Jesus Christ lived a perfect life and never sinned, but while on this earth, he also preached the word of God, and people uh, didn't like that when he's preaching the truth. So they crucified Jesus Christ on the cross for our sin. And then he was dead for three days and three nights. Now, I would always ask that person, where was his soul during that three days and three nights? Where did his soul go during the three days and three nights? And some people may give you different answers, but uh, most people will say uh, his soul went to hell because that's where we deserve to go because Jesus Christ has to pay for our sin. That's why his soul went to hell for three days and three nights. That's why the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 31 that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see 
corruption. Okay, and then I would ask that person,、uh, "Do you know what happened three days after he died?" Now most people know that he rose again. He resurrected. Okay. Now if someone seems to be uncertain that Jesus Christ he rose again, that he resurrected bodily, you can show them First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse three and four. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And then I would always show them verse number seventeen. The Bible says, "And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain; ye are yet in your sins." So I would explain to them that Jesus Christ has to. Rise again. He has to come back to life. Otherwise, the whole preaching, the whole the whole Christian faith is vanity. Okay, we are still in our sin if Christ did not rise again. So at that point, I will ask that person, Do you believe that Jesus Christ is perfect? Do you believe that He died for your sin and He rose again? To make sure they believe every single aspect of the third point of the modified Romans Road. Okay. So the verse I always show them is Romans chapter five verse eight. But God commanded His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Only at very few instances I would、uh, prove from the Bible that Jesus Christ is God, that He is sinless, and that He resurrected bodily. Now most of the time when I prove these points, I only explain to them verbally without showing any verses. But If someone seems to be uncertain or have some doubts, you can show them、uh, verses to prove that Jesus Christ is God, that He is sinless, and He rose again. And I think these three points are super important of the gospel because someone have to believe that Jesus Christ is God for salvation. You can't believe Jesus Christ is a man and to be saved. Okay, you have to believe that He is sinless because a sinful being can die for all humanity. Okay, and we have to believe that He rose again. Bodily, because that's the gospel, right? He died for us. He was buried, and he rose again. So make sure you share、uh, every single aspect of who Jesus is. That he died for your sins, and he rose again. And that's the third point of the modified Romans Road. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the the fourth point of the modified Romans Road. How to transition from the third point,、um, knowing that Jesus Christ died for you to Actually, believing to actually trust upon Jesus Christ for salvation. God bless you. Have a nice day.